mentioned after the Cavs game, you know, he hadn't played in several months. So what did it feel like being back out there? How, did, how quickly did you get your legs back on you for game action? Um, pretty quickly. You know, I went to the, uh, to the game, the first game against the Hawks, and missed a lot of shots. You know, the defense was, was kind of rusty. But I mean, I didn't play in seven months, you know. So I'm not trying to find any excuses and stuff. But I'm trying to get out there and uh, get, my, get my game back together. Um, and try to try to get it as quick as I can. You said you're working back. How do you try to work in the stuff you work on in the offseason versus the stuff that makes you you and get up to speed at the same time? Um, I mean, I, I train hard. You know, I work out really hard. I, I come before practice, stay after practice, work on my game. But I also watch a lot of film um, on, on things I could do better um, and things how to improve, you know. So I feel like that was the main – it is the main emphasis for me. <clears throat> this year, and I feel like I've been I've been doing a pretty good job. What are some of those things you lock in on in film that you want to get better at? Um, I would say I don't know. That's a great question. I'm just looking to see if I make a mistake. You know how I could do it better. From our eyes, it looks like you have more arc on your jump shot. Is that something you worked on this summer? And if so, who kind of pushed you that direction? For sure, I, th I think my legs are stronger as well. I, I couldn't lift my. My upper body for like you know a couple months, so my legs is definitely stronger than before, and I mean, shot looking pretty good. So I'm gonna keep working on it. You more confident with it already? Say it again. You more confident with it already? For sure, 100. Um, like I said, I was able to make an adjustment from the off game to the uh, to the Cleveland game, and um, have a lot more arc on my shot. So. What were some of your offseason focuses in terms of skills you wanted to get better at? Um. I would say like quicker, quicker decisions, you know. Um, I know when I'm when I reach my full, my full, you know, potential in the game that I don't think nobody can stop me. To be honest, you know. So just pretty much making decisions quicker and and and, and knowing when I can be myself and playing without, you know, with, within the team. How do you train that kind of stuff? Is it film? Is it someone defending you certain ways and you react to it? How did you go about improving in that way? Say what was on. How did you go about getting better at quicker decisions, whether it's uh, film game speed, game speed trainings, um, watching film as well, you know, knowing the difference between a short closeout and, and, a, and a really intense closeout and just work, working from there. It feels like you're cutting more too, maybe just yeah. for me watching. You get you feel like more comfortable with those, when to do it, all that kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, playing within the system, you know, I'd be myself, but I'm a team player, so. Just gotta be, make sure I fit within the team, and you know. I want to start with her because she's getting honored this weekend. Just what has he meant to you, and what are your conversations still to this day like with him? Well, he's one of the most special people uh, that I've ever come across in my life, um, and really, he's such a humble person that I know he feels like he doesn't deserve this, but. He really does because of the longevity, because of the history of everything that he and the franchise have stood for. And also the fact that he's the longest tenured governor in NBA history. I mean, that is, I mean, that's a phenomenal distinction. And so, uh, show no signs of slowing down. Um, he's a man of, you know, uh, great integrity. Um, great purpose, and uh, you know, his family are, are amazing people. So I'm happy for for all of them. And uh, sorry I can't be there, but I'll be watching it on TV. You mentioned longevity. You've had two stints here, and he was obviously the owner. Three. Uh, three. Sorry. Yes. What do you think of his impact on the city, specifically of India, and what that's done? Well, you just look around. There's just a lot of the structures in the city. A lot of the, the, the significant philanthropic uh, ventures are all rooted in the Simon family. And in many cases, you know, they, they do it anonymously. So it's just, it, it's just a very unique family led by a very unique man. We heard you after the Cleveland game talk about you feel like that first half was a wasted opportunity. What specifically do you feel like you guys have been missing or lacking on the defensive end through these two preseason games? Consistency. You know, so we've we've competed better in the practice gym than we have on in the games, and 
you know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to be more consistent. Ben has consistently talked about, including just now, this kind of drive to be the best player he can be by blending who he is with what he needs to be to fit with this team. How have you seen progress in that in these two games, especially the one he just had? Yeah, he he's made continuous progress over all three years. Um, I think now more than ever, he understands exactly who he is and how he fits into our group. Um, you know, whether he starts or not, I consider him a starting player, you know, ability-wise and all that. We just, we have depth, and so <clears throat> it may be that he's our sixth man, you know, to start the year. Whatever the case, um, he's very important, and um, he's experienced a lot of growth, a lot of maturity, been through some tough things with the injury last year, but he's been steadfast about everything to get back on the floor, and he's playing well. He just talked about reading the game quicker being one of his focuses this summer. Can you see that already? And how much more does that allow him to do when it is clicking in that way? Yeah, he's he's understanding. He's seeing things better. He's taking a wider <clears throat> spacing, so his vision is broader. Um, and he's avoiding a lot of the crowds that he drove into last year. Um, but the game's being officiated differently now, and so you drive in there. I mean, the whistles aren't going to blow the way they were two years ago when he was a rookie. So he's made good adjustments. The league certainly has made adjustments in how they're calling the game. And so, um, you know, his growth will, will continue to be um, how quickly he can make those reads on offense and, and how well he can defend on defense. What does it mean to you to be involved in situations like what Enrique had on Thursday where his whole family's there and his second NBA game is where he's from and you get to you know, put him in there and see it all? Yeah, it's, it's special. You know, I, I was in that position once myself. Um, and, you know, I understand how special it is, how important it is. Um, the difference with me, I mean, I was playing a preseason game in Boston for the Celtics, and he's he's basically in the hometown of his college, you know, and that's that that's more special, you know. So, um, really happy for him and how you know he went in there and made an immediate impact, and he's showing everybody, you know, why he why we thought he was a special player in the draft. I mean, his activity alone is is elite, and his skill keeps getting better. So how quickly did you realize you'd be in Cleveland for just your second game that you could have that many people attending that you knew? Uh, you know, as soon as they dropped the schedule, you know, I figured, you know, we had a preseason game there. I kind of knew ahead of time, like, you know, the city's going to show up for me, especially knowing it's like my homecoming back there for sure. How many times did you play there when you were in the MAC? Do you remember? Times? Multiple times, yeah. Probably, I think more, probably 10, 8 to 10 times, 3, or actually, Probably like 15 times, now that I think about it, yeah. You guys won the championship on Twice, that, right? twice, twice, twice what there. Did, what did that all mean to you, that game? Like, did you feel extra motivation? When did it kind of hit you? That, like, oh, like half the crowd is bringing yeah. fans today. I think it really hit me when uh, when I walked into our locker room because I got the vibe of, of us winning last year and it kind of just put a smile on my face. And then I text my, my old teammates like, yo, I miss y'all boys. And they, they responded so, so well. And, from there, that's when I that's when I got felt the energy in the room. When could you feel it on the floor? First basket, right when you checked in, were you like, oh my gosh? Yeah, right when I checked in, I think I heard a lot of roars <laughs> in the crowd, and that's when I was like, well, yeah, we're in Cleveland for more, sure. Took corner three, more confidence building from that. Was oh yeah. Something you're working in. How did that? Hundred percent. You know, I've been here with the Pacers working on my shot, um, becoming more efficient at it. You know, I was really good at Akron with it, um, shot thirty-seven percent, but. You know they want they want to see me shoot more efficient, and that's what I'm working on. Now that you're out of your plan, how does training camp feel for you? How do you feel like you've been fitting in with the team so far? Oh, training camp is training camp has been good. I mean, I love how we play. I love how we value offense and defense. And for me, as a younger guy and a rookie, just learning from the vets and trying to minimize my mistakes and just you know playing within our system the right way. How tough is it for rookies? This could be the case to be applying so many things you're learning at once and still just play basketball at the same time. It could be really tough, super tough. Sometimes my, my brain is moving a mile a minute, so. That's <laughs> 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 uh, 
But yeah, yeah, as a rookie, you know, you're learning so much stuff, so your mind's moving a mile a minute. But what those other guys tell you is slow down a little bit. You're all right, you're a basketball player, and you'll be all right. Who's been meaningful for you telling you that kind of stuff the most? Or has anyone really said Just everyone, there? everyone. Tyrese, Ben, uh, TJ Today, Pascal, Jim Johnson, like everyone, everyone. This, this whole unit has been helpful to not just myself, but all the rookies. What ways do you feel like you've gotten better as a player already? 100%, yes. Is there any skills you feel like, oh, this is the thing I'm way better at, or just I'm in all the skills, pros? All skills, all skills. Just even just the pace of the game, for sure. What, who would, when you walk off the floor and your family's all out there in Cleveland out there, who's the first person you walked Look up for. and wanted to talk to? Oh, my mom, of course. But she was sitting far aside, so I had, <laughs> to, I had to see the family here. But first person usually I try to go to is my mom. She's right. always, like, tearing up and emotional. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yes, thank you.